I'm Jackson Pierce and I have a secret that I'm going to confess to you two because over the past 16 days we have gotten to know one another and I feel like it's time I finally, I finally come clean. Okay, so every morning the very first thing I do before I even get out of bed is I read CNN. I read all of the articles on the front page and I usually watch most of the videos um, and I try to just be informed. And shortly after reading CNN I kind of start to freak out. I read about the oil spill and I start thinking, you know, guys, it's partly my fault that we have this dependence on oil. I drove to the grocery store last week, I really could have walked. And then while I was there, I bought candy despite the fact that it was processed at a factory. Not to mention the fact that all those preservatives surely aren't good for me because I read that article on CNN Health about how that was just a terrible thing. And anyway, I start to stress about my entire life. And that's okay, that's fine. I mean, I think it's good that I and other people stress about things that really do matter. That is not the secret. The secret is that to stop worrying, I give myself a dose of anti-CNN and I go to TMZ and I read every single article. I love TMZ. I love pop culture of any variety, actually. I even get the magazines. I do. It's true. And I promise that I'm not one of those Chris Crocker types. I Leave Britney alone! Yeah. I just really, really, really like reading about pop culture. Because see, unlike CNN, when I read TMZ, I think, oh my god. Lindsay Lohan should totally go to jail. I really don't understand why this is an issue. She should absolutely go to jail. I need to comment on this. And then after that, I'm done. Because the news I read on TMZ does not matter at all. Not even the tiniest, tiniest bit does it matter. If I get busy and I can't catch up on my pop culture for a week, that's fine. Besides, the odds are the stars that were messed up last week are gonna be messed up this week. Well, look at that. After 50 years, Joe Jackson is still a lunatic. Whereas if I miss just one day of news related to the Middle East, then it takes me a month to figure out what just happened. It's complicated stuff because it matters and anything that matters is complicated. So anyhow, this vlog is kind of a PSA for people like me. Just because somebody can discuss all the details of Britney Spears conservatorship does not mean that they can't also explain the details of exactly how they're going to get those Chilean miners out of the mine. You know what loving pop culture does mean though? I'm a beast at Team Trivia. I'm serious. If I'm in your town and there's Team Trivia, we should go. We will totally win that free pitcher of beer or the platter of wings if you're under 21. Either way, we're gonna win. Comments time. Ugly Fudge, I put your comment up because I feel like when people start using first comments on my videos that it means I win at the internet. Uh, Emily, Alcott and Space Dog do get along. Alcott's kind of clearly running the show and Space Dog is a Chinese crested. And Aliski, I, um, yeah, yeah, I, I guess male tap dancers are sexy. I don't really know why you're asking, but congratulations, tap dancing for eight years, well done. Well done you. Oh hey Christina, I'm one of the five biggest dorks I know. Whoa, today forget about Gmail chat, that's not where it's at today.